Hello, welcome back to Aaron's 1025 Our Adventures. Uh, I got my tractor a couple snowfalls before the end of the last winter, but the snow pusher didn't arrive. So this is my actual first time using the snow pusher. There's only, I don't know, maybe an inch, inch, inch and a half of a snow out there. It's our first snow of the winter up here. So I'm learning to play with my uh, snow pusher. Uh, thanks for joining us and hope you enjoy this video. It's not going to be a very technical one. It's just going to be shooting off my front porch here while I uh, drive around and clear the driveway. Hope you enjoy. So this will be my biggest learning point is picking up the, the rubber edge before I tear up the edge of the grass. Normally I have uh, orange spikes marking the edge, but I can see the edge today, so I'll have to get those out over the next few days once this melts and the ground's warm enough to stick them back in. So, I have garden tires, 
That's a Frontier Snow Pusher. I went with Frontier instead of HLA because I could roll it into my financing. Uh, I have 420 pounds of weight on the back and I'm having trouble s steering. So I haven't used this before. I don't know if that's just the nature of the beast when you have the, the snow pusher down and you're pushing it pulls up the front wheels a little bit. Maybe I need to put some weight on the front. I'm still learning. Uh, I just remembered it's trash day, so I'm going to run my trash can up real quick. Okay, so a couple quick notes. Uh, I have around 420 pounds on the back plus the, or the weight of the heavy hitch weight holder weighs. Uh, I have garden tires that are filled. Um, can't remember how much it weights in those. I'm thinking about 60, 60 pounds in each tire. I have wheel weights on, a 70 pound inner and a 50 pound outer on each side. I have the rubber edge on the snow pusher. The reason I went with the rubber edge is, I don't know if you can kind of tell, but I've got a lot of cracks and bumps in my uh, asphalt. I, can't, I would like to replace it, just can't afford it. So I went with the rubber, and when I'm pushing, I'm in float, hoping I won't tear up stuff. Uh, what little bit's left, you know, that's not going to hurt anything. If I throw a quick salt on it, that'll melt off. This was a, a real light snow. If I'd waited a couple hours, it would have probably melted and been gone, but this was a chance for me to play with the tractor and learn how the snow pusher works. So when I'm coming up close and tilting it forward to, to drag back, if I put it in float at that point, 
it wasn't scraping real well. So I would, I would tip it over, put it in float, and then take it out float and drag back until I got to the transition here. And then I would put it in float so it would bounce over that. And that seemed to work better. When I was pushing forward, using it correctly, the big learning thing for me was to get it level and get that edge down. I may have to raise the skids up a little bit. And uh, once I got level and put it, then I put it in float, it was fine. It's just I would lose steering and I, because the wheels would come up a little bit. And I think that's just the nature of the beast. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, hope your first snowfall is just as easy as mine. And please like, subscribe, laugh, enjoy, and have a wonderful day.